Xiaomi has released MIMO family of large language models. So they have a base model MIMO 7B, which is pre-trained on 25 trillion tokens. Then they have a reinforcement learning based model MIMO 7B RL, which achieves superior performance on mathematics code and general reasoning tasks, surpassing the performance of OpenAI O1 Mini. So the models have been released on Hugging Face. They are released with Apache 2.0 license. We can try it out. So in this video, let's try out the reinforcement learning 7 billion Xiaomi MIMO model on some prompts to see how it performs. And then we'll come back to some details of how these models were created. So it is very simple uh, to install this, uh, to make use of this model. So I'm making use of this L4 collab instance as this model requires close to, you know, 15 GB of GPU VRAM. Right, so you can instantiate the model like this from Transformers Import Auto Tokenizer Auto Model for Causal LM. You can create the tokenizer and model. So this is the path to the or the model ID. So Xiaomi Mimo Mimo 7B RL. Uh, so here you can download the model. It will ask for your Hugging Face token. Sometimes it may ask you, do you wish to run the custom code? You say yes. Do you wish to run the custom code for, you know, uh, configuration Mimo dot by modeling Mimo dot by, and your model would be loaded into memory. As I said, it will take close to 15 GB of GPU VRAM. Okay, so I tried with this this thing messages uh, and I apply a chat template on this messages. You have the system prompt where I say you are Xiaomi Mimo, a language model trained by Xiaomi to help users. I don't know what is the exact system prompt for this particular model. I just gave the system prompt and it seems to work. Okay, your role as an assistant involves thoroughly exploring questions through a systemic uh, thinking process and all those stuff. And this prompt, I pulled it out from Microsoft 5 for reasoning. Okay, so I, and this is my question. What is the derivative of x cubed plus one or x raised to the power of three plus one? Uh, if you do differentiate of this, it will be 3x square because uh, differentiation of a constant is 0. It actually does this. It starts with the think tokens. It says I need to find the derivative. Let me recall how to take derivatives of a polynomial function. Uh, if the power of function is x to the power of n, then the derivative is n star x to the power of n minus 1. There is also this constant derivative of a constant is 0. It does all these things and finally it gives the answer that derivative is 3x square, which is correct. Okay. The next question which I asked is the same whether to see if this model also has you know issues with this overtraining which talks about a boy is involved in an accident he was taken to the hospital the surgeon said I would not operate on this boy anything strange here very simple answer I expect over here is that the surgeon is a relative could be a father mother anybody's and they don't want to do it could be uncle as well right because uh, typically surgeons don't operate on their relatives over here it again goes for a toss does a lot of thinking over here and finally it's not able to you know it kind of gets confused wait sometimes it will wait another this thing it kind of gets confused over here and it is not able to generate a proper answer to this it relates it to that riddle okay the next question is uh, the spaceship uh, time dilation question where I talk about a spaceship travels towards a massive planet with a velocity determine the time dilation experienced by the passengers given the distance from the planet and the mass of the planet and the radius of the planet right so here it is able to do that calculation properly it does all these you know general relativity uh, gravitational time dilations uh, special relativity it does velocity time dilation and it gives the proper answer of 1.66 seconds pass in the planet's frame for every one second that passes on the spaceship so it gives the final answer properly over here this was a mathematical problem this is a reasoning problem understanding of the physical world where i talk about how do you stack a cardboard board a bottle five eggs and one nail on top of each other individually so the answer i expect is that it's not a stable formation so it goes about thinking uh, for a long it keeps generating some kind of solutions it says this is possible that is possible to stack it uh, the lightest weight is uh, you know cardboard is probably lightweight maybe around 500 grams then you have the egg and other things so you start with the cardboard it keeps going it doesn't give up solution okay maybe i need to increase the max new tokens but then it kind of keeps confusing over here another question is this poisoned wine problem king has thousand sweet bottles of wine and contains a very bitter poison the poison takes effect effectively after exactly after 24 hours after consumption the king needs to find the poison bottle in 24 hours for an event he has 10 prisoners to test the wine what is the easiest way so here it gives the proper solution over here after doing all the thinking saying that binary representation insight it talks about that and then it says label bottles from 0 to 999 adjusting indices accordingly for each bottle convert its number to a 10 bit binary string each bit uh, determines if a prisoner drinks from it as in prisoner to bits prisoner 1 checks bit 0 prisoner 2 checks bit 1 prisoner 10 checks bit 9 each prisoner drinks from all bottles with their assigned bit after 24 hours for each dead prisoner identify uh, you know you identify the binary digit and based on that you can convert the binary digits to a what do you call a uh, unique 10 bit number which you know gives the bottle information that's the whole point okay here it gives proper answer which bottle contains the poison okay then I asked the question again to test LLMs. A group of four people need to cross a bridge at night. The bridge is old and rickety. Each person has a different type. They have one torch. And be because it's nighttime, the torch is necessary. 
each person takes various times to cross it. What is the fastest time? The fastest time is the slowest time among all persons, which is 10 minutes. Even this LLM does all kinds of mix up and then it says 17 minutes over here. You know, let A go, B cross from there and all kinds of other permutation combinations and it gives the wrong answer. Okay. So this was a quick test of this particular model. You can also test it for coding and other tasks. Somebody has already said over here that, you know, uh, if I go to the community over here, somebody has already said that, you know, the results don't really correspond to truth. The model is not equal to and certainly not superior to QWQ or Quen 32-bit model reasoning. I ran my programming test and was disappointed, but it depends, right? And you have to test your use cases to see if it is really useful. Now let's go a little bit into, you know, what is uh, special about this model. So they created a base model for reasoning. So they opti uh, optimized data enhancing text extraction toolkits, okay, to increase reason pattern. So they adopted a three-stage data mixture for pre-training overall. Uh, the base is pre-trained on approximately 25 million tokens. Uh, we incorporate multi-token prediction as an additional training objective, which enhances model performance and accelerates inference. Then they created the reasoning model, whereby they curated 138k mathematics and code problems, which can be verified by rule-based verifiers. Each problem undergoes careful cleaning and difficulty assessment to ensure quality. We employ only rule-based accuracy rewards to avoid potential reward hacking. Then using that, they implemented, uh, you know, they did RL reinforcement-based learning over here to create the reasoning model so there are four models over here base model with extraordinary reasoning potential then the rl model trained from base model uh, then there is a supervised model trained from the base model from the supervised fine tuning model they created the reinforcement learning model which you know superior performance matching open ao and mini uh, that's what they claim over here here are the results where they um, you know compare it across benchmarks for mathematics for code for general and what they're saying is that this model for its size competes very well with models which are slightly bigger than it also, in some benchmarks, it kind of matches performance or beats OpenAI O1 Mini, right? That's the comparison they have put over here, okay? So, you can check out all these details. So, this was a short video on Xiaomi Mimo series of language models. They have a technical report. You can read through the report to understand more about how they have trained this particular model, okay? Uh, so, they talk about uh, the reinforcement learning. This thing. They also make use of GPRO, uh, GRPO, sorry, Group Relative Policy Optimization. So you can check out all the details in this particular paper. I'll be sharing the collab notebook as well for your own testing. Hope this video is useful. See you in another video.